So what we've got here is a project. Um, we're kicking off a new series of videos that's a little different than what we've done in the past. In the past, we've done how-to videos specifically around the use of our tools. And what we're going to be doing is more of a follow us in this adventure. And I'm not gonna say this is how you should do any of the things that we do on this. It's how we do things. And that's gonna come with its own set of, uh, well, adventure. And uh, if you know what you're doing, if you're a professional that does this kind of stuff daily, it might be uh, entertaining for you to see our adventure through this. And if, it's, uh, if you're a mechanical person that dives into this type of thing or wants to do some of these similar projects, then maybe it'll help you in your journey. So what we've got here is a, a 31 contender from 2004. Four. We found uh, this boat in Wilmington. Port, Port Royal. Port well, Royal, well, uh, just north of Wilmington, sorry, North Carolina. Yeah, sorry, this boat came from Topsail Beach. We were in Charleston, South Carolina. And uh, offshore fishing in Charleston is 50 plus miles offshore. That means you need a boat that's gonna be able to get there. And uh, a Contender 31 was really what we felt was the ideal boat. It'll get you there and it'll get you there fast. <laughs> get there fast, that's the plan. So what this video series is gonna kick off with is doing the various maintenance items or upgrades to this boat that we need to do. So from the bottom up, um, the brakes on this trailer, it looks like it did have them, but they've been removed. So there's no calipers on the trailers. This actuator is, is dead. I actually broke the lock off it the last time we used it. So we've got a new, new actuator here we're going to put on. We've got new stainless uh, brakes that we'll be putting on, right? Yeah. Wow, well, carpet on the bunks. Oh yeah, carpet on the bunks. We're moving on to the boat. Let's go around back and, and see. The boat hull seems to be in really great shape. Uh, it's, for a, for a 20 year old boat, I think it's in pretty nice kit. Um, first thing that seems obvious is these are 2004, uh, 225 horsepower, 3.3 liter Yamahas. I think great engines at the time. Uh, primary concern with these has been, or is a corrosion issue in the uh, midsection. They, dry exhaust rot is what dry exhaust rot is what you call it. So um, we're gonna run these things. Uh, the boat seems does what 47 you 47.7 uh, coming down the ICW about half fuel. So I think we could have gotten 49 out of it. Basically, it's not gonna be the most fuel efficient option, but uh, it's definitely the the lowest cost option right now. And they run, so we're gonna run them. At least this season, we're going to be on the lookout for some a set of Yamaha 300s, 4.2s. If you know where some are, let us know. I'm in the market. Matt's going to be tearing into all sorts of things on there. I won't take away some of the excitement of what's going to come, but these are going to. Matt's going to be into all of this to to find what and why this one wasn't peeing and and any ramifications of that. So the first video is going to be this motor. Um, Moving along into the interior, really it's, it's then just electronics. So we've actually already ordered a full suite of electronics for it. We've, gonna, we've gone with Garmin, but we're gonna get uh, dual 12 inch screens and um, you know, radio and a, oh, and the radar helps to see in the dark, so. Yeah, running out of uh, Charleston Harbor in the dark, it's really nice to have. 4, 4 a.m., 5 a.m., almost getting run over by sport fishers. It's nice been, to see been them there. <laughs> didn't like it. Right, so it has, what is it, Raymarine on it? No. Furuno. Furuno. It's got a full Furuno suite on there. Top of the line, 2004 electronics. And it's, uh, it's amazing how fast that stuff becomes out of date. So I have a nice video to show how we go about doing that. This boat is going to be kind of a, a test buck for adventure and um, some offshore antics. Yeah. So. If you're interested, this is what this video series is going to be. And like I said, it's how we're doing it, not necessarily how we suggest you should do it. That's right. Because we're engineers, not mechanics. We're just, you know, handy. That's right. Been right. boat owners for 20 years, so. Right. We, we've got some. Picked up we'll, a thing or two. We will get it done, but um, it may not be the way to run a business. We, we make tools. Is that what's right? So, anyhow, um, thanks for watching. Stay tuned. <laughs>